If you enjoy the video and my content, please consider supporting my channel over on Patreon at patreon.com slash katedidart. Thanks so much! Wahaha! Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing another Inktober 2018 prompt, and that is going to be tracking for day number 11. I hope you're excited, because I sure am. Um, I don't know if you've noticed this, but a lot of the poses in my Inktober pieces have been a little different than what I normally do, and that is a pretty big goal for me, um, is to kind of break out of my shell and do some different poses and, um, you know, experiment with some different things. So this is actually the first video that I filmed after buying my new ink, which was the sepia color, and you can see me painting that now. And it's a little gloopy, uh, so you definitely have to shake it up a lot more than some of my other inks. However, I love this color. It's like a yellowy brown, and oh, it's so beautiful. And only I would say this, I swear. <laughs> but I absolutely love it, and it's just like the perfect swampy mud color, and I am just in love. So, yeah, just don't mind me just in love with the diarrhea -ist color of ink in the world you know how it is if you're interested in getting any of my inktober art pieces in book form or you're interested in getting any of my acrylic pens which are pretty much like enamel pens but they're made out of acrylic i will have pre-orders available until october 30th if you're interested in a pre-order bonus and a discounted price there will be a link on the screen to where you can go follow that and you can go check out my pins and my book and see if it's something that you're interested in again pre-orders end on october 30th so they will no longer be discounted prices after that and obviously pre-orders will be over so you won't get any more bonuses and that will make you very sad so make sure you head over there and pre-order before the deadline So, um, in this picture, the girl is actually tracking human footprints, but you can't see that at the moment because I haven't painted in those human footprints, um, but she will be tracking them in just a moment. I just love this pose. <laughs> I just, I don't know, it's probably not anatomically correct or whatever, but I just think it's really cool and yeah, I don't know, I really like it and I'm sorry. <laughs> So she is tracking her prey in this piece and I really wanted to kind of do her justice but she's like looking at the viewer kind of like what are you looking at kind of thing um, and like I said she's tracking her prey and I don't know is she gonna eat them is she gonna capture them and hold them hostage not sure what she's gonna do to them but it's probably not a good she, let's just pretend she's a cannibal let's, she's just gonna eat them delicious right um but anyway i don't know that's what a lot of my pieces kind of hint toward is that some of these people are cannibals but they're wild women so i guess they're allowed to be also i'm super in love with making all of these grass strokes oh it's just so fun and i get to just be super messy with it and have fun and i don't know i like being messy with my art right now it's just a really big thing that's kind of going on in my life not really in my life but in my art life i guess another thing that's really satisfying about this picture is painting in that blue sky it's just so satisfying and just watching it drip down and ugh, so good i love ink why do i not paint in ink more often just random question also i feel like i sound really sick what the heck not sure what that's all about i don't i feel fine i just feel like i'm talking all stuffily stuffy um so i'm sorry if it annoys you <laughs> so um just like yesterday i decided to make this video a little longer than normal just because i wanted to chat about what's going on and all that good stuff um you know just to have fun and do something a little different um, I may here and there leave some patches of music if I can't think of something to talk about, but for the most part I think I'm going to try to talk because your girl loves to talk. <laughs> Even though, I don't know what it is, I would just feel very awkward. I think I've already voiced my concerns on this, but I feel very awkward talking to no one, but I am talking to someone, but it just feels like I'm talking to no one. I don't know if that makes any sense. Uh, but I am a talker. Heck, I could talk your ear off if I really wanted to. Um, so, 
Yeah, um, so now I am painting her. Um, this is another one of those pieces where I decided not to outline it first and to paint it and then add the outlines. You know, I really like adding outlines to a piece, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel locked into it and I don't really like that feeling. I like being able to feel free to make changes outside lines, I guess. Um, and with actual line art, I can't really do that. So I kind of like <laughs> not adding lines and then adding them later. Um, so now I'm on to shading her skin and her skin does get a little muddy for me, especially around the leg that I'm painting now. But overall, I mean, that's kind of the goal. We're all muddy here. Um, all these ladies, I swear, are mud filled. So it, it works, I guess. And I'm just, I really am happy with this piece. I didn't really have too many high hopes with the piece as I was painting it, and I did get really frustrated. <laughs> it's thunder. It's literally thunder. After a brief intermission, I am back to the piece. I don't even remember what I was saying. Um, my dogs. I love having dogs. No, I, I do love having dogs. However, they're so yappy and it is so annoying. <sighs> love them to death. So it, it's literally raining and there was a little bit of thunder and they started barking. And <laughs> that's so annoying when you're trying to voice record. I don't remember what I was saying, but I do really like the piece. I like the pose. Of course, as with literally every other thing, I feel like I could totally make changes and make it better next time. But for this Inktober, you know, I'm not... Perfection isn't my goal. Just having fun and doing something I like is my goal. Also, I decided to add some brilliant red hair to her because I felt like this picture needed a big pop of color uh, because it is so dull and I was like, yeah, why not? Let's give her some super Ariel the Mermaid slash not super realistic red hair because why not, right? And then to go along with that, she's getting super blue eyes because again, why not? Um, so yeah, her hair and eyes, well, I guess her eye color is realistic, but her hair color is not super realistic, but she's in the swamp. Maybe she ate like a mutated mushroom as a kid and it like mutated dyed her hair or maybe she dyes her hair with berries that could be cool um but anyway i digress now i've zoomed in so we can do some line art and because this piece is kind of messy and wild I wanted my line art to be kind of messy and wild so we went with that if you want to know any and all supplies that I am going to be using in this piece even though the piece is like almost done I will have um a link to the video on the screen where I go over all of my supply list and for this year and I will also have a supply list in the description below if you want to know specific items that were used in this video plus there will be links next to them too so you can go check those out so with this piece I again I wanted it to be really messy and just have fun and I know a lot of these pieces are very messy but that's kind of my goal for this year is to be messy and to um, have fun and not stress out too much about making it perfect. I did kind of stress out last year about making it perfect. Like, I know one of my goals was to be a lot more loose and a lot more messy with my art, but I ended up perfectionizing that. It's not a word. I ended up making it too perfect. And while I love a lot of my pieces from last year, I feel like I've changed a lot as an artist since last year. And I'm very thankful for that. Um, and I, I'm honestly excited to see how the rest of Inktober this year will go and like where it'll take me and what I've learned. I've learned a lot already this year, <laughs> uh, from Inktober and hopefully I will continue to learn more. Um, are you all participating in Inktober per chance? If you are, I would love to see. I haven't really, um, said anything about it lately, but if you use the hashtag Swidoodling with Katie, I will be able to see any and all, um, you know, doodles that you do for Inktober or just anytime. If you just want to share any art with me, tag it Squidoodling with Katie so I can see it. Um, I, I get really excited around this time of year. I love seeing other people's art and it's just a huge inspiration to me. 
and yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> this time of year is just my favorite, just for a bunch of things. There's Inktober, it's fall time, pumpkins and apple cider and cooler weather and I just I absolutely love this time of year so I'm, I'm feeling super festive but anyway I've gone off onto like 30 million tangents into this video we're gonna be taking a look at the final piece in just a moment and I want to thank you all so much if you reach this part of the video and you listen to all of my little ramblies thank you so incredibly much you are awesome um if you aren't already and you want to be a part of our cute squid pod, there will be a button down below to where you can subscribe and there's a bell button next to that that if you click that you get notified on when I upload new videos. Also have social media to where I'm going to be uploading all of my Inktober pieces too. If you want to follow those, links are in the description. And until next time, my adorable squidlings, toodaloo!